conditionals. Conditionals is a topic which is usually relevant to the future tense and therefore I have included it in this syllabus. Conditionals are taught at an advanced level. This topic is not introduced for the primary school children. It is good to use it in the secondary school and the higher level learners also. Conditionals have a situation of future as such as wishing for something or even something which would be done in the future or is being planned in the future or is being imagined in the future and in one case we come across the conditionals in which we are regretting at the present about something which has to be done in the past or which should have been done in the past. So actually the action on which we are regretting was not done in the past. So that is why it cannot be related to past. But when I say conditionals are sometimes relevant to future, this statement is not for all the cases, especially for the case when I talk about regretting. When I am regretting, then I am not really uh, making it relevant to future. But the rest of the conditional situations and sentences, they do consist a flavor of future tense. So in some ways, the teachers, after doing the future tense, they like to teach about conditionals to the higher level students and secondary school level students also. So that is why I have included conditionals in this uh, topic with the extension of future tense. There are three types of conditionals and they are first conditional, second conditional and third conditional. In most of the conditionals we use the tense which is relevant to the future tense and also sometimes we use the modals. Modals are words like may, might, could, could not, may not, might not. So these are all showing by themselves, these letters are showing, these words are showing that they are on condition. May shows a condition, could shows a condition, in some cases should also shows a condition, would also shows a condition, might is a word which shows condition also. Therefore these models as they are called models or models words, M-O-D-A-L-S. These are used in the conditional sentences for showing the things which have not happened and are not happening, but it is wished or it is planned that that could be done. It could happen. The action would take place. But there is a very significant use of the models in these sentences in order to show the intention of the action to take place either in future or in imagination. In some cases when the regret is being shown then also some models are used with the sentences. So in order to talk about conditionals the teachers need to introduce models to the students. In some cases the teachers can find models in the grammar books but in case they cannot find them in the grammar books they can easily google them on the web and then find just put the word models there and you would find a list of models there and examples of sentences in which models have been used in order to introduce them to the students to make a clear description of conditionals.